Today, Ramey Cohen went to the funeral service at West Lawrence High School to talk to family and friends who remember Thomas for more than just his athletic achievement. Selflessness, humility, and dedication. Just three ways people describe the life of Demarius Thomas. It hurts. It, it hurts a lot, but everybody's proud of him. You love a mark. Uh, you will always be remembered, bro. Like, we love you forever. To the world, people knew Thomas as a great athlete, but to folks in Lawrence County and West Lawrence High School, he had a nickname of Bebe. Brandon Taylor and Thomas grew up playing together and knew him for more than 10 years. The fame, sports, the money, the cars, it, it, it didn't change him. He remained the same humble guy, same genuine guy. And Thomas's cousin, Laronica Jones, who grew up with Bebe, knows him for how he would light up a room. That's what touched everybody's heart, the smile. Every time you see him, you never see him frown, you never see him mad. He was always happy. Thomas showed his kindness and love for his community with the Bebe football camp for kids each summer, making it a point to always come back to his roots. He touched a lot of souls a lot around the nation, around the country just all over period. He touched a lot of lives, especially the babies. That's what got me, got me the babies. The babies just can't take it. Kayvon Webster played with Thomas on the Broncos and went to two Super Bowls together, but he says he's remembering Thomas for his positivity. He would stop to take pictures with all the fans, all the kids, like, he didn't care what he had to do, like he a, a guy full of love and he spread the love in Denver and everywhere he went. Jay Morrison worked with Thomas as a business partner and friend for the last three years of his life. He says Thomas was committed to paying it forward to children from his hometown. It was about like making an impact and a legacy bigger, bigger than Super Bowl or Pro Bowl or just sports. I think he, he, he really, and his legacy will be greater than that. In Lawrence County, Ramey Cohen, 13 WMEZ News. Thomas would have turned 34 on Christmas Day. For more remarks from the funeral, we have the full live stream on our 13WMAZ YouTube page.